What is up guys, it's you here, bringing you another review on the quintessential quintuplets. And this episode was probably by far one of the funniest anime episodes I've watched so far this year. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun. It was laughable. And it had some really good moments uh, for all of the characters in this episode. And of course it starts off with the aftermath of sleeping Miku in bed well in her own bed honestly you know it's not that big of a deal but we have Futuro freaking out everyone's eating breakfast you know just kind of getting their day started and everyone's wondering where's Miku at you know uh, Ishka was not even sure you know uh, she woke up and she never went back to bed I'm like None of you ever wanted to, like, go into the, her room and maybe suspect maybe that's where she could be. Like, that's a possibility. But, of course, they don't do that. And they actually decide, well, since Miku's not here, and they all know that Miku has feelings for Futaro, they take Itsuki to kind of try to fool Futaro, which I don't know why that wasn't even an idea. Like, that was kind of stupid on their part. But it was fun to see kind of how she was kind of playing the part. Uh, but... She was starting to warm up to the idea of being taught by Futaro, and she thinks that maybe if being fooled by, uh, fooling Futaro, looking at Miku, maybe would change the situation. And it doesn't. It doesn't work. Uh, Futaro's pretty smart about that, and he's like, "Oh, you know, oh, the pajamas." And that's one of the things that I did like about Futaro. Like he's observant. Like he can tell by what they're wearing, what who they are, which, you know, if they were all wearing this same thing, they'd be kind of screwed, except if you're Yotsuba. And speaking of Yotsuba in this episode, God, I didn't even think that we, they had, like, stupid teachers in, the, in that school of theirs. Yotsuba actually was very funny in this episode, in my opinion. She and uh, I Ichika actually were going to the library with Futaro, uh, and again, Ichika's got, like, this whole older sister mentality like cemented in her she forgot her pens at home and we have uh yotsuba basically saying you know hey i got these don't worry uh, it was of course her way of kind of getting futuro to bring in uh good old itsuki to the group nino's still not warming up to it uh and she well we have the little study session between the two where they apologize and he pretends that Miku is, or oh, Itsuki is Miku. He does see Miku, uh, but he dismisses the whole thing about them sleeping together, which was smart because if they had, that would have been a whole other situation. So good on his part. I was really pleasantly surprised with that. But then we get to see them all studying together and warm up to it, which kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting them to. Uh, Nino and Itsuki finally can study along and so after all the struggles they've gone through they are finally going to take the midterms except Yotsuba was the only one that actually got up early enough to take the freaking exams and so all the rest of them have to rush along with Futuro who slept in himself and by the time that you know they arrive because of you know stops you know them tiring food and whatnot you know they they have to like fool a teacher in order to get in Yotsuba's in and they all I don't even know where they even got the green ribbon from but like they all start speaking like Yotsuba Miku was the first one who handled it very pro-like she sounded just like her but I'm like she kind of has orange hair like the face is the same but like seriously they all do it. It's funny because they all sound different. Seeing their faces was hilarious. And then we have Futuro himself trying it, and he doesn't fool anyone. But he does kind of take a bullet for the girls. All the girls are able to go in the class without getting any repercussion. But now it's the time to take the test. And, like, they are all struggling. And they all are studying, well, I guess their most... The most they were focused on was on the subjects that they were worst at. And we see each and every one of them kind of focusing and trying to do their best that they can. But by the end of it, we have them all getting together and uh, them discussing their grades with Futuro. 
And Futuro basically starts speaking and it sounds like a goodbye. He kind of gives them each their praises and saying, you know, I'm glad you, uh, Miku, you were this way. You have the ability to teach your sisters, Yotsuba, you know, work on all this stuff, uh, Ichiki, you know, uh, try to, you know, focus on your exams, take your time. Uh, it's uh, Itsuki, excuse me, Ichika and Itsuki, God, I hate their names uh, to some degree. Uh, Itsuki, stop being so awkward. Nino, it took forever, but hey, I'm glad you stuck around. And he does tell the truth, saying, you know, uh, it looks like I won't be your tutor anymore. And they get the phone call from the father, and he's ready to go and dismiss him. But Nino jumps in, which I was surprised. I was honestly surprised that Nino did this she says you know hey we all passed our our a subject so we didn't technically fail so with this kind of deceit they were able to kind of have Futuro stick around a little longer which you know I thought that was smart of her unexpected but it was a really really great move on her part to kind of have her her dad to be kind of deceived from it they did get they did improve some of their grades uh, i guess miku of course being the bay that she is got the best grade out of the five she had a 66 in her history or japanese or whatever and uh, best grade right there so i was really happy to see that and we even see itsuki telling us like look you don't have to worry we'll keep on well, futuro's gonna stay around a little longer so they're just it's not even just a one sister it's three of them at least nino hasn't really pushed anything but the three are pushing Nico's like, oh, it's okay. He's going to be around for a little longer. I enjoy that. So, And he does uh, like to even tell him, like, you know, we don't have to study right now. We can kind of enjoy ourselves. Let's go get a parfait. You know, and the episode ends relatively nice. You know, them, you know, kind of being able to enjoy it sometime after all the exams and all the studying. And then they deserve it. So overall, I did enjoy it. It was funny. I, like I said, it was a good episode. Very, very involving episode for all of them. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.